if you are planning a vacation, perhaps it's best to take it before October 29th. Why? Because after that date, nobody is quite sure what comes next. Right now, at this very second, something unprecedented is unfolding on the far side of our Sunday. An object known as Atlas, only the third interstellar visitor ever confirmed to enter our solar system, is currently in solar conjunction. It is completely, utterly invisible to us. Five days ago, on October 21st, it slipped behind the sun, perfectly aligning itself on the opposite side of our star from Earth. This alignment has rendered our entire global network of telescopes blind. And in exactly three days, on October 29th, it'll reach perihelion, the single closest point. It'll come to the sun on its entire journey. At that moment, an unimaginable 33 gigawatts of raw solar radiation will slam into its surface. To give you a sense of that scale, that is one third of the combined energy output of every nuclear reactor in the United States, all focused on a single object hurtling through the void. This will be the most violent, most energetic moment in its million year voyage across the dark expanse between stars. And this is where the mystery deepens. If any strange physical event were to take place, be it the flash boiling of massive subterranean ice reserves, the ignition of exotic chemical reactions, or something else entirely would happen, precisely at this moment, the one moment when we are incapable of watching, this timing begs a profound question. Why is this particular object one already flagged for a host of documented anomalies, hitting its peak point of solar energy exposure during the only window of time when we are completely in the dark. Is this merely a cosmic coincidence? Or is something far more fundamental at play? This situation prompted Avi Loeb, a Harvard professor and the former head of its astronomy department, to issue a warning that is now echoing with increasing urgency. If you want to take a vacation, Take it before October 29th, because who knows what will happen. These are no longer the words of distant academic speculation. They are about the next 72 hours. They are about physical processes that could be igniting at this very instant. From the moment it was discovered, Atlas has been systematically defying our established models for interstellar objects. It has collected a series of bizarre characteristics that, while perhaps explainable in isolation, collectively paint a picture of a scientific puzzle unlike any we have ever encountered. Let's examine the evidence. Anomaly 1, the impossible orbit. The trajectory of Atlas is aligned to within 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane, the flat disk, where all the planets of our solar system perform their orbits. For an object arriving from the randomness of interstellar space, the statistical probability of such an alignment occurring by chance is a mere 0.2%. But this isn't just a statistical oddity. It represents the perfect trajectory. If you were an engineer designing an interstellar probe with the goal of visiting multiple planets with the least amount of energy, this is the exact path you would choose. Uh, an ecliptic alignment is the holy grail for a grand tour, maximizing the opportunities for planetary flybys while minimizing the fuel needed for course corrections. It's the most efficient route through our cosmic neighborhood. Anomaly 2, the impossible chemistry. Spectroscopic data gathered from the Keck 2 telescope has revealed something astonishing. Atlas is venting gaseous nickel in proportions never before witnessed in any natural comet. On Earth, this specific chemical signature is found in only one place. Highly controlled industrial manufacturing, specifically within a method for producing high purity metal alloys. Furthermore, the data shows this nickel is concentrated in a specific region of the object's core spanning 600 kilometers. Meanwhile, cyanide, another compound detected, 
is spread out over a much larger area of 840 kilometers. If both of these materials were naturally sublimating from a frozen nucleus, their distribution should be similar, dictated by their volatility as they are heated by the Sunday, but they are not. The nickel is behaving as if it is part of a discrete, organized structure, not as if it is randomly escaping from a dirty snowball. Anomaly 3, the revolutionary composition. A detailed analysis of its composition reveals that Atlas is composed of only 4% water by mass. This finding is nothing short of revolutionary. Comets, by their very definition, are dirty snowballs. Water ice should be their single most dominant ingredient. Borisov, the previous interstellar comet, which scientists universally agree was a natural object, had a composition rich in water, just as expected. So why is Atlas so fundamentally different? Adding to the strangeness, the light reflecting off Atlas exhibits an extremely negative polarization, a phenomenon that has never been observed in any known comet, including Borisov. This suggests its surface texture, or the very structure of the material it is made from, is unlike anything we have ever seen. Anomaly 4, the extraordinary scale. Atlas is a behemoth. Current estimates place its mass at 33 billion tons. That is 1,000 times more massive than the comet Borisov and a staggering 1 million times larger than Oumuamua. With a conservative diameter estimate of at least 5 kilometers, it possesses more than enough mass to carry a significant payload across the interstellar gulf. To put its scale into perspective, an object of this mass could transport thousands of car-sized probes or even hundreds of much larger structures and still have the ability to maneuver using the enormous energy it will absorb at perihelion. Anomaly 5, the mysterious anti-tail. Between July and August, astronomers watched as Atlas developed something that should not exist. An anti-tail. This was a plume of material being ejected toward our sun in direct opposition to the solar wind. Detailed analysis confirmed this was not a trick of perspective. Material was genuinely being propelled against the immense pressure of solar radiation, which strongly suggests the presence of an active internal energetic process on board the object. Professor Loeb has created a scale from 0 to 10 to rate the likelihood of an interstellar object being artificial. Atlas currently scores a f While this is far from conclusive, it is significant enough to warrant a serious, dedicated investigation using our planet's most advanced defense resources. The response from global scientific and defense institutions to the arrival of ATLAS has been extraordinary and in some ways deeply unsettling. For the first time in history, protocols normally reserved for credible extinction level threats have been activated for an object that poses no direct impact risk to Earth. The International Asteroid Warning Network, or IAWN, was created for one specific purpose, to detect and track any object that could threaten human civilization. This network has just initiated an intensive three-month-long monitoring campaign focused entirely on ATLAS. This action is unprecedented. IAWN does not allocate its critical resources to scientifically interesting objects. Its mandate is to prevent extinction events. The campaign was activated on October 27th, just two days before Atlas reaches perihelion. This tells us that the decision was made based on the pre-existing data. The documented anomalies were, on their own, enough to justify treating this object as a potential albeit undefined threat. But herein lies the paradox. Atlas is not on a collision course with us. Its closest approach will be 1.8 astronomical units away that's farther away from us than Mars. There is no physical possibility of an impact. So why have our planetary defense protocols been triggered? 
Adding to the mystery is the deafening silence from NASA. The highest resolution images of Atlas ever taken were captured by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter on October 3rd. Its high-rise camera, capable of resolving details down to 30 kilometers per pixel from that distance, has provided a view three times sharper than our best images from the Hubble Space Telescope. Those images have not been released. Avi Loeb has publicly requested access to this data mentioning his request repeatedly in blog posts and direct communications with the agency. The official silence from NASA is conspicuous, especially given that these photographs represent our most detailed look at this enigmatic visitor. In stark contrast, the European Space Agency has been comparatively transparent. Its ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter also imaged Atlas, and the agency released data showing a classic cometary appearance a fuzzy point of light with a small tail. This seemed reassuring until their spectroscopic analysis of that same data was released. It, too, revealed the same anomalous chemistry. So what is ATLAS? Physics presents us with several possible scenarios. Each one carries profound implications for our place in the cosmos. Scenario 1 an exotic natural comet. It's possible Atlas is simply a natural comet, but one forged in a stellar system radically different from our own. Other solar systems have different chemical compositions and formation temperatures. The bizarre nickel emissions might be the result of a natural chemical process that is common elsewhere, but absent in our own system. This would explain the chemistry, but it struggles to account for the perfect orbital alignment and the impossibly convenient timing of its observation blackout. Coincidences happen, but a string of them, this perfect, strains statistical credibility. Scenario 2. Controlled fragmentation. The object could be disintegrating, but in a highly organized fashion, intentionally releasing internal components with different properties. This would explain the varied chemical signatures being detected. The fragmentation could be designed to be triggered by the intense solar heating at perihelion as internal structures preserved for eons in the deep freeze of interstellar space are finally activated. Scenario 3 on active orbital maneuver. If some internal process changes the velocity of Atlas as it whips around the Sun, we will see a measurable change in its orbit in the coming weeks. A deceleration of just a few kilometers per second would be enough to capture it, making it a permanent new member of our solar system. Perihelion is the perfect moment for such a maneuver. It is the point of maximum velocity, where any applied thrust is dramatically amplified by orbital mechanics, a phenomenon known as the Oberth effect, which is used by every interplanetary mission we launch. Scenario four, the deployment of smaller probes. Finally, Atlas could be a mothership. As it endures the peak thermal stress of perihelion, it might release smaller fragments or components. With its 33 billion tons of mass, it could deploy thousands of smaller objects and barely alter its own structural integrity. The astronomical community is deeply fractured over what to make of Atlas. The debate reflects a fundamental tension in science how do we deal with true anomalies? Jason Wright, an astronomer at Penn State, published one of the sharpest critiques of Loeb's work. He argues that Loeb misinterpreted basic astronomical imaging. Wright points out that when you track a fast-moving comet, you keep the telescope locked on the nucleus, causing the background to blur. Of course, you wouldn't see a faint diffuse coma in that mode. He also contests the size calculation, arguing Loeb assumed the reflectivity of a dark asteroid to maximize its size. A normal comet would be much smaller, surrounded by a bright cloud of gas. Loeb has countered that his critics are so deeply invested in conventional thinking that they suffer from a kind of cognitive inertia, reflexively dismissing any evidence that challenges the status quo. He argues that science has a conservatism problem 
where paradigm shifting ideas are rejected far too quickly. This debate is happening in real time. The betting markets, which aggregate human judgment, currently give a 75% chance that Atlas is a natural phenomenon and a 25% chance it is of artificial origin. These are not scientific probabilities, but they reveal the profound uncertainty we are facing. The good news is we will not be in the dark for long. The coming months will provide three distinct opportunities to solve the Atlas mystery once and for all. On November 4th, the European Space Agency's JUICE probe will make the first post-perihelion observation, passing 64 million kilometers from Atlas. This is our first chance to see what happened to the object after it endured that 33 gigawatt blast of solar energy. If Atlas performed any kind of maneuver, the effects will be immediately obvious in JUICE's data. On December 19th, Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth. Every major ground-based observatory on the planet will be pointed directly at it. More importantly, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to resolve its thermal signature and molecular composition with unprecedented detail. And on March 16, 2025, Atlas will pass just 54 million kilometers from Jupiter where NASA's Juno probe is already in orbit, providing a frontline view. If the object released smaller components at perihelion, some of them may be on trajectories that will also bring them near Jupiter at that time. Each of these observation windows will build on the last. The central question is elegantly simple. Will the trajectory of Atlas change? If the object continues to follow the precise laws of gravity, its path perfectly predictable, then we will have confirmed that interstellar comets are far more diverse than we ever imagined. We will learn about the chemistry of other star systems. But if its orbit deviates, if we detect non-gravitational acceleration, if one object suddenly becomes many, then we will be confronted with a phenomenon that lies entirely outside of our current scientific understanding. The blackout ends in November. The telescopes will turn and we will know. We will know if we are witnessing the strange chemistry of a distant star system or if we are witnessing something that will redefine our place in the universe forever. In three days, behind the glare of our sun, a reality test will take place. In three weeks, the first results will begin to arrive and the universe will give its verdict.